It's already been a long night. But I am here. I'm ready for this tequila and a story slash New Year's Eve live. Set to go for tonight. Have the Rey Libre. The Rey Libre tequila on standby. About to pour this up. If anyone wants to join in, have some drinks, tell some crazy stories, y'all know I have stories. Y'all know I have some. Join in with Wendell, myself. Wendell just popped on. I know Say would be dope. So he's not going to be hopping on with us. What up, bro? What's up? Happy New, new Year. Yeah, it's, it's here. Yeah. yeah. Man. It's here. Don't even seem like it. Hey, Cigar Blondie. It's here. I'm going to tell some stories. I got a, I got a crazy New Year's Eve story. Uh, what up, Karma? If anyone else want to hop on, take a drink, shot, whatever, with us. This is going to be a party show. I mean, I'm already getting lit. I may or may not have popped a 50 milli right before coming down here. It's a lit show. AK, hop on, talk some red libra tequila and tell some crazy stories. So I got my beer, I'm about to pour up some Rea Libre. So I go with All the right. Blanco or the Repo. Let's start from the, the Blanco. All right, all right. We're gonna go with the Blanco. Quadruple B. I know you're gonna join us, man. So, so Winda, what's what would you say? You got the uh, the El Mayor. What would you yeah, say, I'm gonna crack that. Uh, what would you say was your uh, what up, E? What would you say is your craziest New Year's Eve Eve story? I don't know. I have to think about that one. I don't really do nothing too crazy. What up, Quadruple B? Anymore. What up, fellas? How y'all doing, man? Doing good, Happy man. Holidays, How fellas. you doing? I'm pouring up some Rey Libre tequila. I have some in my glass. I have me an anti-hero India Pale Ale from Revolution Brewing. Yeah, well, yeah. you know I did the El Mayo extra Nejo sherry cast nice. and uh, some some. Lab here. This is the demo of walking the berries. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I haven't tried it in a while, so I said, you know what? I could taste them skins. I could taste them skins. Yes, sir. Hold on, let me see if, if E or AK want to come on here because I need to look, man. AK, you still need to update to the latest version of of Instagram, yo. <laughs> Hi, it's my lit show. I'm on. I'm gonna do my best chug here for you. Cheers. Oh, good luck on that one. Uh, I'm sipping. There we go. Pie, he needs that glass. When you get him. See, Pie, that was for you. That was my only chug. My only chug of the year. Yeah. Last show of the year. <laughs> he said, there you go. <laughs> no chug. You, 
you got the big boy. AK, you need to, Asia, you need to update your Instagram. You need to go and update your Instagram app to the latest Instagram, and then I can get you on here. Sorry, I'm busting my ass off now. She might be having a problem that, that I had at first. Uh, she also has to scroll up to the top. It's not always at the top. Sometimes you have to find that request button. It's not always no. at the top. You got to scroll in the chat. No, I, I yeah, I usually just tap her. it at the bottom. I went to go send her a request, and it and that's the that's what it told me. It told me oh, she needs okay. to update. Okay. Yeah, it told me she needs to update to the latest version. Gotcha. Okay. What up? What up, big bro? What up, Blaze? What up, Chad? AK. Hey, I have my my the the Red Libre Tequila sitting right here waiting. I'm waiting on you or E to come on. What up, John Blaze? Hey. Hey, AK, AK living in the past with her uh with her IG. <laughs> <laughs> so quadruple B. I asked I asked Wendell this. He he said he's not much of a party. He, does, he doesn't really go out on New Year's Eve. He hasn't really went out on New Year's Eve. Do you have a crazy New Year's Eve story? Oh, he didn't drop that off. He probably accidentally uh yeah, well, you saw that Crazy Pie did the three uh, chugs of the limoncello. Oh, Jesus. He did that uh, Tuesday night. Wow. Hey, my, my, bad. Scotty, my bad. I hit, the wrong, I hit the wrong button, bro. What was you asking? That's all right. No, uh, hold on. Let me, let me see if, if Blaze can get on here so we can tell him happy uh, retirement. Congratulations on, congratulate him on his retirement. But no, quadruple B. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Big bro. Yeah. Congrats. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Definitely congrats, man. Yeah, what's good? Good. How's everybody doing? All right. I'm trying. Good. I'm trying to retire in the next five years. <laughs> and, and that five years will go by quick, brother. It's on the horizon. Believe me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I should have stayed in my tail in the military in my 20. That's what I should have did. Well, I, you know, I, I did 10 in the armed forces myself, man. But, you know, I got out and started my law enforcement career in 95. And it's all coming to a close today. Today was my last day. I picked up my badge and ID today. Yeah. So, hey, congrats. Done. That's amazing. That's amazing, big bro. Smoking a nice one right here. Drinking on some. Finished this some old wood for reserve. You know, just yeah. chilling. Yeah. That's What's good? How's everybody been doing, man? Hey. I'm, I'm here, man. I'm blessed. I can't complain. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Same here. I hear you. <laughs> so, tell me. What, what, what was your question, you know? So, this, this is the party show. I'm bringing back tequila in the story again. This, just this one time only. One time only. Tequila in <laughs> the story. If y'all didn't know what tequila in the story was, it was you come on with your favorite beverage no matter if it's water or if it is absinthe or whatever and then you tell a crazy story crazy story that happened in your life crazy party story just crazy story in general mostly based around party you know and this is since this is the new year's eve you know version of t you know tnf i want to know if you have a crazy new year's eve story i got one that I recall. Okay. So, okay. 85. That was the year I was born. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was one. <laughs> nah, nah, I was a total kid. I, I, I was one. <laughs> Fair one, y'all, okay? Fair one, y'all. I, so, I, I just ate 50 milli. Uh, I just ate 50 milli. So, so I'm going to be... I'm going to be loose on this. So, show. <laughs> 85. I'm just getting back, back from a deployment in South America. I'm stationed on the East Coast. And uh, me and all my partners, man, we decided to go to this one club we used to go to all the time. So, the whole crew wasn't there. It was just a select few of us. So, Everybody in there, you know, getting their groove on, man, drinking whiskey sours, amaretto sours, you know, doing what everybody does, right? Hollering right. at the girl. 
to my boy from Chicago. He was like, yo, Kev. Shytown. He's like, yo, man, come on outside. Let's do this. I'm like, man, what the hell are you talking about, right? So we go outside. Mind you, it's the winter. Winter time. And he pulls out a fat one. I'm like, man, what the hell you get that from? <laughs> Somehow or another, he brought something back, man, and had it in mass quantity from South America. Oh, shit. So it was this one cat hanging out with us that night that we didn't, for the most part, allow to hang out with us. He was a good dude, man, but he was just, he was a square. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, a, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Real shaky. So we go outside, do what we do, right? Next thing you know, man. Man, it felt like this black cloud hovering over my brain. When I tell, tell you I was frozen in time, frozen, body not moving. I'm hanging on the edge of a car like this. Can't move. Can't nothing. And all I can hear is this cat that was with us. Look at it. Blah 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 blah. All of a and I can't, I can't say nothing. I can't move. I can't do nothing. <laughs> Nada. Right. And I'm sitting there saying to myself, when I come out of this shit, I'm with this dude ass. Right. Because I'm like, come on, man. Look, your crew go out. If a man goes down, everybody go down. That's just how it is, right? Well, you gotta but take care of your man. Like, you gotta pick him up, and you know, bro, I'm out there, man, for damn near an hour. <laughs> Done. I can't, I'm serious. I can't move, right? After about an hour, this stuff started wearing off, man. And as soon as I came to, me and this cat was fighting all the way back to base, man. I was trying to beat the brakes off this. Well, I'm like, that's why we don't let your punk ass come out with us the beginning. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Look, bro, you, you don't do that. You know right. what I'm saying? If something happens, right. one go down, the entire crew go down. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. But this cat right. said he was shaky. That's why we never let him really hang out with, and this is New Year's Eve night, so everybody out there, fat man, we just doing what we do. And right. Like, bro, bro, when I tell you that stuff hit my brain, it was like somebody hit me with a bat because I couldn't do nothing. He had that gas. Man, that gas, bro, gas. gas out. And we talking about it in the winter, so I'm out, mind you, I'm outside. And it's freezing cold, and I don't feel nothing. Can't feel nothing, can't think. Only thing I'm saying is that when this shit wear off, I'm getting into this dude's ass. And that was it, man. That's that's all I remember after that, bro. It was, man, I, don't, I didn't come up with nobody that night. I'm going, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, I'm going back to base, man. It's like, oh, woe well, is me. It is what it is now, you know what I'm saying? But if I had a right. wait, you know what I'm saying? I probably could, I could have came up on maybe something nice. And then right, went right. away, but you know, I had to go out here and I'm like, bro, really from South America. I'm I'm surprised, amazed that when he brought back, he was able to get it back. Cause I'm like, man, the, the unit that I was in, man, they was gaffling folks. And it's like oh. you get caught with a I don't care what it was. It out this time with discharge, man, because I commanded this dude had like a negative zero zero policy when what it up, came to substance. Forty nine. That's neg crazy. So that, crazy. that 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 that's the only one that I can recall. Now I'm quite sure there are more. You know, being that you was a year old, this cat was this <laughs> age, and you know he's a teenager. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's Hold the on. one. That, that's the oh. one that comes to mind. It was New Year's Eve. I was. A little bit over two months old. <laughs> One year, six months. <laughs> if it was eighty-five New Year's Eve, man, I was I was two months and and I was two and a half months old. Man, I just I just hit twenty-two. And um, I don't I don't have no Instagram friendly stories I can tell. Oh fuck that man! I don't my my story not Instagram family, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it Instagram family. Nah, I ain't, but, I, ain't, I, ain't I ain't telling this. You said I don't get the brain bandwidth to do that. Yeah. Not tonight. I, I ain't saying this, but I, I will say this, man. Um, for me, I'm a old I got an old soul, right? So for me, I've been to D.C. I've been to New York. I've been to Atlanta for New Year's Eve. I prefer to stay in the house, man. I'm pretty bored. 
I'll be here with my family you know, on most New Year's and sitting here and watching the ball drop on the TV. Right. Halfway drunk. Some of the nights, some of the times I ain't make it to 12 o'clock, but I'd rather spend time with my family than be out here in the streets. No, I understand that. No. Because me personally, I haven't been out in the streets. We haven't went out. By the way, uh, quadruple B, you got to hit that volume button and get the echo. Uh, but no, I haven't went out on New Year's Eve since, like, yeah, I don't know. Somebody got an echo. Maybe it's me. I don't know. Um, but I haven't went out on New Year's Eve in, like, eight, nine years. But y'all understand, I was a huge part of you. Like, I was a fucking big ass party. So I have a lot of New Year's Eve of me like just drunk as fuck and going out and everything. Now I do also have one of the greatest memories of my life on New Year's Eve because I asked my wife to marry me at the like whenever like you know, three, two, one, happy new year. I said to her, I said, happy new year to her. Then I whispered in her ear, will you marry me? And there's a picture of us, of like, so when we said that, like she started crying. Like when I, I asked her, she started crying. And um, a friend came up to me. He was like, why is she crying? I'm like, I just asked her to marry me. And another one of my friends like takes out her camera and like snaps a picture of it. And you see my, my wife with the ugly cry face, like, oh. See, I, I understand. She's going she to kill that. me. I understand why you did that. So that way you can remember that day. Yes. Because most yes. brothers are not going to remember that day they did it. <laughs> <laughs> most won't. Woman run up on them like, hey, do you remember the day? Uh, I really right. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, I, I get some ways why you did it like that. If you I can gotta make it memorable. Yeah, you know, I I gotta make it memorable. I gotta make sure that it, you know, that that I I remember for sure. It's the same reason why I made uh, we got married, which our our which made our wedding anniversary the day before my birthday. That way, I have no excuse, and it's very easy for me to remember. It. Yeah. So I I plan this stuff out because I don't want to be I don't want to be that guy. That ends up forgetting the day to be proposed to his wife or the day that he got married, his anniversary, because it was just like a random May day, you know, in the middle of the year has no significance to it. Man, hey, you know, I, you know, dates are not, not really important, I don't think, to, to men. Uh, more so women, I believe, you know. Right. Um, I, I I do remember the day that uh, my wife actually Cruz, Cruz said you started you started you off with a life sentence. Day. <laughs> yep. I do remember the day we went on our first date. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, and and that was easy because my birthday was a week later. You know what I'm saying? So. It just happened to work out that way. First date was on the 17th of November, you know what I'm saying, 2007, you know what I'm saying? And my birthday was a week later, you know what I'm saying? So I guess, I guess some of it different in that aspect because I remember all those dates like that. Yeah, you're a unicorn, I mean, but you're special. <laughs> yeah, you, you're a so, unicorn. February, February the 6th, 2007, start date. February the 6th. 2015, I proposed. April 23rd, 2017, got married. Hey. Y'all, hey, man, y'all boys better get up on y'all game and start forgetting those numbers. No, no, I know my numbers, but I make them easier for myself because I know that I'm, that I, that I just be forgetting shit, and man. You know. I asked my wife, I proposed to her the day before she Turn sixty. We were in Jamaica, my ego back. Nice. So, you know, I got all the dates down, you know. I might have to jog the memory here and there, but 
I got all the dates down. Like I said, most brothers, man, you know, for whatever reasons, most dates are not important to us. It's like, okay, we asked, we did it, that's it. You know what right. I'm saying? So, you like, know. baby, yeah. baby, I'm yours. Like, this, this, I'm yours. I'm not, I'm not someone else's. Who cares about the dates? I'm yours. But I made it easy because I know that my wife don't care about the dates. So I'm like, well, let me go ahead and make this as easy as possible for myself. Well, that's why I try to make sure I can remember because I it might not be important to me, but I know it's important to her. So right. and for me, right. for me not to cause no issues later on down the road, <laughs> I just go ahead and tell myself to remember. Got them exactly. Got them stored up in that database. Hey, let me ask you something, man. Y'all getting hit, man, with the big old uh, the crazy uh, storms out there? I did, but it's it's like forty degrees out right now. Like, so we were supposed to get like twelve to eighteen inches. We got like four inches, but it got down to like a negative 30 windshield here. I see. But, I know that's cold for y'all, right? But out here in California, when I live at, when it's 35 degrees in the morning, man, folks be like, but I'm like, no, bro, that's cold. 35 that's not cold. In, in Northern California, that is cold. That's not cold. No, I see. No, you, no, you didn't. You didn't hear me. No, I, you didn't hear me. I, I heard the negative. But see, okay, that's the environment that you're in. Be out here, out west, bro. Thirty-five degrees in the morning is cold. I'm telling you, you can come out here and be like, oh, man, no problem." But a cat that's born and raised in California, that's cold. Hey, look, it's so bad, man. Out this way, out of Washington, man, they got ice storms out there. They got TikTok videos of food sliding down the street because they can't stand up. Yeah. That's unheard of. Look, man, we don't that's get ice perfect. like y'all get. We don't get ice like y'all get. Now, that that's just crazy. The type of ice y'all get is just absolutely insane. But, like, you know, I, mean, I, was, I was looking at something on Yahoo yesterday, and it's tragic because it was by a young lady who worked at a uh, – I don't want to say a rest home, but she was into uh, the care of elderly. And uh, oh. get home to her kids, which these kids today, man, for some reason, they, their thinking is different, right? I'm like, the kids at home safe. She tries to go home. She didn't drive an SUV, she had a regular car. The car stops. And they found her 18 hours later. DOA in her car. Cause she First off, what? Oh. Okay, where was she at? Uh, I want to say New York. Buffalo. Okay, so you're in Buffalo. Buffalo fucking snows, and Buffalo gets cold. First and foremost, so I, I used to live in Rochester, which is like 45 minutes, say 38 miles away from Buffalo. It snows like crazy yeah. and it gets cold there so yep all like we we bought one of our cars out there every car out there had four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive yeah car truck suv you had to search for a car like you literally had to go out and search for a car that did not have all-wheel drive like it was hard it was hard to not find a car without all-wheel drive or truck or suv <laughs> Like you, like you, you really had to want to have a car that had front wheel drive or two wheel drive. Yeah, that's one thing. Second thing, why are you staying in your car if you know that you're near a place? She was trying I, to make it home. According to the article, she was trying to get home to her kids, and I understand that. But can you know? Now, 22 years old, I'm sure that's where she was born and raised, right? So right. you experienced storms, maybe not of this magnitude, but either way, you've experienced bad storms. So my no. thing, the kids are you, very home set, right? Right. You should be sheltering in place, hey, little. right, at least until morning. But you want to go out and think of it. Exactly. Like I said, driving an SUV, right? And you don't make it home. I'm just like, Look, man. Well, on the phone, she was on the phone with her family, right? Then all of a sudden, according to the article, 
communication ceased. Why and then they were up finding her. Uh, I want to say it was like 18 hours later. I, 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 I figure out how that worked because if she had a phone, that means her phone was charged and was on, right? You can right. track that phone. Yeah, yeah. You can track the phone. So like, you can see some of the video see, coverage. If you see some of the video coverage in that area, it was even hard for EMS for fire personnel to get out there. That's just how bad it was. Right, right. No, I, I like so. So we lived there. We lived there in 2014, going into 2015. Like, we moved back, like, June. We moved back to Chicago June of 2015. We had our son. On, well, my wife had our son on July 2015. Uh, so, but the winter of 2014, which would have made her, if she's 22 right now, it would have made her 14 going on 15. She would have gotten, she would have been entering to driver's ed, so she would have known huge blizzards. Right. Cause, cause, because the winter of 2014, Buffalo, Buffalo got seven feet of snow in like a two day time period. So she's known, look, man, I'm going to go on, like, it's, it's just sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's, it's, sad. it's, sad. it's just sad to hear. Uh, yeah, Kirk, she hear probably like y'all like 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 just said, she was born and raised there, man. She probably done drove in those conditions before. Right. And used to driving in them. And it just so happened this one time, you know what I mean? It just it won't it didn't work out in her favor. Right. But it happens all the time, man. I, and so one of my things, man, if you have well, none of y'all are friends with me on Facebook, but like on Facebook and Instagram, I put a post up on my personal page is that one thing that we take for granted is walk, waking up every morning, walking out of our house and being able to come back. Right. Right. Like you, you, you see, people take that for granted, man. Like being able to walk out of your house in the morning and come back in your house the afternoon, that's a blessing. It is. Right. That's a blessing. And and, and most people die like wrecks. Most people get in wrecks like within five miles of their house. So and that's the crazy part. But like it, it, like right. you just said, that's an unfortunate event that Very unfortunate. I'm, I'm sad to hear that yeah. happen. Right. No. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep I gotta keep we gonna party. Let's say this. Cheers to cheers to baby girl. You know, uh, life taken too soon. Yeah. You know, this truly a sad tragedy. Um, I feel bad for her kids. You know, and I feel bad for her family. It's, it's truly sad. Uh, but we gonna we gonna toast. We gonna party tonight, and let's party in her memory, man. You know, let's have a good time in her memory because let's know. You know, twenty two at twenty two. If I'd have passed away, I would wanted people to party and have drinks yeah. and everything in my honor, as opposed to to shed tears right. and everything. Yeah. I mean, shit. Me at thirty seven, yeah. I still want you to. Me at thirty seven. If I pass away on a New Year's Eve, man. What's that? And it's just, I think for the most part now, if I go partying, it's basically when I'm on vacation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that's pretty much. It. I mean, at, at this, you know. Well, most of what we do or what I do, man, is related to a spot where number one, it's it's some it's relatively close and it's quote unquote grown folk stuff. And I'm talking about folks that's over forty or fifty or whatever. You know? Right. Or yeah. it's to the confines of, of someone's home. You know what I'm saying? Now, me, you know, uh the wife already told me we going to church new year's eve that's 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 cool said, but once the clock strikes midnight we head back to the house to go to the 70s party so i'm gonna go hang out there for a couple then i'm gonna come on home you know what i'm saying but i didn't want to cause a, a rift in the old time space continuum until my wife no we not i'm like nah i ain't trying to do that we go to church See, smart man do. Right. I'm like, okay, we'll go there. I ain't doing what I want to do. See, New Year's Eve, <laughs> New Year's Eve party is at my house on New Year's Eve. We'll have a couple, couple. Too cold. We inside. I got heat. <laughs> I got to get out there. It's too cold. Nope. I'm about to say the people got to come there. <laughs> yep. Nope. Bro, you probably like it's negative. promised me a summer event. <laughs> New Year's is not something. <laughs> Bro, it's like 40 degrees there, man. That's nothing. That's where I start at. See? We ended up at 70 uh, today. Uh, 
I did it. See, out here I in left Cali, the house it's cold. It's right it followed me here. Right now. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Every year it's gotten colder. I like, I could have stayed up north for that shit. Bro, it's, yeah. it's about to be, At least you don't get the snow and stuff like that down yeah. here. Yeah, yeah that's true. Well, years. the northern guys got it, so I feel bad for them in the northern part of Georgia. I mean, because I'm on the southern side. Yeah, we ain't getting all that. Have any? Y'all don't have any salt. Y'all don't have any snow plows. Y'all don't have the basic stuff that makes it easy to live in the wait, snow up there. Wait a like second. We, we we do have this stuff, not just as much as y'all have. <laughs> they just it's it's so it's rusty. They don't know how to use it. <laughs> it's fifty three. You're right. It's fifty three degrees here. Like it, it feels lovely outside. Yeah, if I oh, right now. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, if I want to go, to it's, it's colder out right here. I'm, it's less than fifty three out here right now. I'm a two hour drive away from the snow. If I wanted to go, Ty, go man. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. No, like look, the best, the best, the best time to have experience snow is when it's like twenty nine, thirty degrees out and it's snow, because the snow. The snow is not crunchy. The snow, you can act, it's like still fluffy. And yeah, I understand. You know, at, 29, at 29 degrees, it ain't snow. That's ice. No, it's That's not. What, no, 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 no. House, too. No. 29 yeah, degrees. Yeah, but the snow you got to get fluffy. there. The snow is still fluffy. And believe me, I, I would stay inside drinking that shit up. <laughs> hey, bro. You can, hey, bro. You, you can keep that, that Chicago shit up there. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Summertime. At 29, 30 degrees, black, black from black here in Chicago. He know what I'm saying, man. But at your 29, 29 is different than ours, so no thank you. Hey, yeah, motherfucker, hit. Hey, hey, that's 29. He different from our 29. <laughs> at 29 degrees, my son and I are outside making snow angels, having snow fights, fight playing in the snow. Hey, man. Yeah, nope. Hours, man. Hey, man. No, let me, let me let me let me tell you what I do when, it, when I hit you with a sandball. When we get four or five inches down here, so I'm gonna tell you what I do. I make some chili, make sure my daughter got her food, got my beer and my tequila, and we don't leave. <laughs> there it is. I might I might crank the four wheel up and go out there and do some stupid stuff by myself, but my family, like even when I gotta go to the store when it's snowing and stuff like that, my family stays home. They don't go with me. Right. My my wife don't go home or anything with me. I'm just saying we go out in the front yard or we go in the backyard and we play in the snow. You can have that, my brother. Yeah, I'm staying inside. Man, y'all. About 35 degrees out here. I told you, I'm done with it. Yeah. I had enough of that Eric, when I was younger. I'm done. Eric, man, Eric, bro. Tell them, they, man, Chicago different, man. We be we be having fun out there in 29 degrees, 30 I used to. Not no more. You, 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 you are a product of your environment, sir. I'm a, See, I'm a I retired from that stuff. Through. So, I'm a, I'm a Midwestern boy through and through. So, I, I didn't live in the Midwest. I didn't live in the cold my whole life. There's nope. never been a time where where I lived in a in a warm. There's never been a time where I lived where it was like the the warm the coldest is gonna get is like 40 degrees. There's never been a time in my life I've ever lived anywhere. Bro, so I feel I'm bad for you. I'm going to I'm, I'm tell you, I'm, I'm gonna gonna tell you right now. I'm, I'm 38 years old. I'm going to count on one hand how many times we've had snow over eight inches since I've been born. <laughs> Not so me. You can, I don't have eight inches, that. two feet, a foot. Bro, I'm we done. Had, we, had, we had eight inches, I think, like five times last winter alone. I know. That's why I said you can keep it. Yeah. Hey, listen, man, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Ch 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 Chicago, I, I think we talked about this the first time I got on one of your lives. Chicago is one of those places, if I don't never see it again in my life, I'll be okay. Listen, I've been, <laughs> oh, I've been in cold environments, right? Summertime, shy, not cold. Bro, I've been getting, this, getting I, as hot as y'all. I've, I've, I've been to Chicago the most in the summertime. I've lived in I'm New done York. with it. <laughs> in the summertime, right? you done with Chicago? Bro, it's the, I can't deal with that traffic out there. I can't deal with your airports out there. I can't deal with the people out there in the summertime. Listen, I went to Chicago, right, and y'all had a wind advisory. So my flight from Chicago to Wisconsin got canceled. 
So I was either coming back to North Carolina or I was going to drive to Wisconsin. So I'm like, a two-hour drive, I'm going to take that drive, right? So I get yeah, out I and go to – yeah, You're right. Now you tell me, right? So that's on Chicago. That's Wisconsin. That's, that's where you got it. It's Wisconsin. My, my, issue, was, my issue was in Chicago. I already know what you're going to say because that car was, was moving around so much with that damn wind. That ain't it. That ain't it. So the all the fights that got canceled, right? So there was no no um, hotels within 30 miles that I could get, that they could get me, right? There was no car rentals at the hotel place. So I had to catch a Uber from the airport to the closest um, uh, Hertz, right? So I went to Hertz. What I don't know where this place um, What's the name of that thing? Um, it's either O'Hare or South Oh, here. It's either O'Hare or Midwest. It's O'Hare. Uh, O'Hare. That's why. So, but, but listen to me, though. But, but listen to me, though. So I, I go get the Uber, right? And the Uber driver I'm telling me, hey, uh, Eric, this are you from this area? I'm like, damn, I'm like, he didn't flew into the wrong I'm like, no, nah, I'm not from this area. He was like, well, be safe when you get out of the car. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was fucking so, with you. He nah, was no, with you. That's no, he, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Yeah. So I get out of the Uber. He he speeds off. And as soon as he speed off between getting out of his car and walking in the hurts, I hear like 20 gunshots. Man, you got people running this shit. I'm like, I ain't got time for this, man. I'm too old for that. I got a life I got to live, bro. I ain't got time for that. What up, Sauce? Bro, he, he, he dropped you off on the west side. That's what he did. He dropped your ass off on the west side. I tell you what. And hey, then, like, know, and then, mind you, right. there was a lady. There was a lady in the hurt. Eric, Eric, no, this, this man. This man got dropped. That man drove him to the hurts on the west side around the Latin King area, and and he and he, he was fucking with him. He fucked with you, bro, because there's no way. He, you could have went with me. That's, that's what address I gave him. <laughs> yeah, that was your fault. You should have went north. You should have went north, not west, My fault. not south. I, I went to the closest one. Yeah. That, you that, that, that ain't my fault. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't know the area, right? So, I mean, I didn't know the area, right? So, But then once I get the rental car, right, the girl in there is so hood and so rude. Like, it didn't make no sense bro like she was like you got a reservation i was like nah that's why i asked if you had any cars well i guess we might have some let me go see what's in the back what, the fact, what kind of customer service you got but so no hey, so like she, even you on top gotta, of that, look for your car you better be happy she, but like yeah, even on top of that once got i got the good. car bro it started raining it started raining and the traffic was ridiculously stupid, right? So I'm just joking when I say I can't deal with Chicago again. But next time I go to Chicago, I, I need to know exactly where the hell I'm going yes. and what I'm getting myself into because Look, I ain't got time for none of that. This is the rule of thumb, okay? If you go from O'Hare, go, go north. Go north. O'Hare, you go north, you're closer to Wisconsin, Right? If you go directly south from O'Hare, especially if you're around that line, that Indiana line, only thing that's out there is out west. <laughs> Bruh, don't don't listen to what, what Black Star Line just said. He said go to the west side. So, but, but here, nah, this is my thing, and look. this is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. I'm 38 years old. I hope I live to see 90. I would never fly into O'Hare again. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I, 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 I hate the airport. I would never fly into. Fly I into never fly down there again. Fly in the midway, fly in the midway, and then if you go south from midway, you're good. If you go, if you go too far north of midway, you're on the south side, and you're gonna run into Inglewood. You're gonna run into. You're gonna run into some areas. If you go from, I'm telling you right now, anyone that's watching this live, if you. Fly in the midway, go south. All right. If you fly in O'Hare, go north. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the rule of thumb. That's like if you're trying to find somewhere to go, I, I just stay away. <laughs> that that'll make everything easier for me, man. Look, but uh, you know what though? So me and one of my homeboys were talking about that hey, bro, earlier, man. man. Twist and do or die, they, that's their people out west, man. Of course they love it. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. Yeah, I'm okay. But hey, hold on, wait, wait. Give me one second. Blaze. Yo. Bro, I love you, man, but I got to get Ray Libre Tequila on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get the yeah. owner of Ray Libre Tequila on here. I have to chime in and say hello, man, because the last couple of times I was doing my thing and wasn't able to get in and say hello to the fellas and whatnot. But, man, listen, I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do oh, your thing. Yeah. Stay hey. safe out there. Much peace, many blessings to you. Godspeed to you, man. And hey, have a prosperous new beginning, man. If I don't right. see you for 2023, you too, my brother. Hey, congratulations, big bro. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. I'm turning up. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. All right. All right, let's get AK in here. See if she's updated her stuff. Yes, she has updated her stuff. I just took a sip of Ray Libre tequila. Hello. What's up? Hello. Oh, oh, wait, let me do this. Oh, hey. he put in his hand. Ray Libre. Y'all caught me about to eat some dinner. Uh, oh, put, uh, it put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Free twins. True freedom. For all. Okay. Ray Lee Bray Tequila, y'all. Hey, y'all. Uh, so we have. Hey, that's, that's, that, that's that tequila. That's that tequila we were talking about the other night. Yep. Yes. Yes. This is one of the owners. Her and her wife, her partner E, are the owners. Congratulations. Of Ray Lee Bray Tequila. What up, OG? Yes. Yeah, for Willie on on the live. Hey, Willie. Is Willie. Hey. Well, get get us in your liquor stuff. How we get in your liquor stuff? That was his, that's his nickname. That that's an inside joke. So if you ever if you ever watch if you ever watch the old Fireside Chronicles, which you can go back on uh, you can go back on 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 YT. I can't say the full name. I don't want IG to be getting mad at me. But if you if you understand what YT means, you go back on YT. You can watch them, or you can scroll back on my my Instagram page, and you can see the old, uh, what up, E? You can see the old Fireside Chronicles. Liquor Store Willie was his name on there. Got it. Yeah, Got so, it. Here's the, so here's the biggest question of the night. What liquor store is, is your tequila in? Mexico. It's what? still in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> It's, Look at him. That's what I told you. It's Brandon no. Promise. My, brand, my 2023 Brandon Promise, meaning they're going to come here in 2023 and we're going to turn up on Ray Libre Tequila once oh, they hit I, the mark. In the I just love Mexico. Uh, man, we are in Mexico at our distillery. We are working right now. Ray Libre is a, a brand that is coming out of NOM 1137 La Cofradia in Jalisco. And right now we are getting our bottles um, shipped to Mexico so they can be filled with our formulation and brought to the state so that all of us can experience true freedom. You know what I mean? For the first time in your life. I can't. can't I you can't wait to try it. I definitely have real freedom. I definitely be looking out for it. I'm a, hey, AK, I'm gonna tell you this right now, man. Talk this Blanco me. was my shit, man. This Blanco, I know. So I know the. So, so what would you taste? I taste deliciousness. Yeah, but describe the favorite for us that can't put it in our mouth right now. Whoa. A slice whoa, of whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> of the tequila. Of the tequila. <laughs> whoa. Sorry. Ray Alibre. Ray Alibre tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! We are talking Ray Libre tequila, Blanco, no. and Reposado. Those are our formulations this that is... we have re ready. And honestly, Tyler, you should, dude, you should feel super, super honored. You are I the first am. and I only person honored. that has gotten a kit yet. Hey, I do feel honored. I am very honored. I, I don't, I don't. Take that for granted. I appreciate it. That's why I talk about Ray Libre tequila so much. And I'm telling you, this Repo is good, but this Blanco is my shit. This Blanco is my shit. I taste fresh. Is it 
Do y'all use uh, rainwater or well water for it? That one is... Or spring water. It comes out the ground. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> so probably well water. Probably yeah. well water. Because it's so, on the side of the volcano, so they use that volcano so water. So volcanic spring water. That's what it is, yeah. spring water. Mm -hmm. I can taste the water. Like, literally, I can taste the water in this. I taste nothing but... I don't want to say nothing. But the two prominent taste, uh, two prominent flavors. All right, man. I got it. I got it. Gummy's hey, kicking in. No, 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 no. Party. AK. Yes. I, I just took like 50 milli of a gum. I saw. So, so I this saw. shit is this shit is kicking in a little bit. And then She's you have that red leaf that you're experiencing true freedom right now, my friend. Right. Enjoy. That's definitely true freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we might have to chain you up because you might get away from this free. <laughs> y'all gotta, y'all gotta bear with me sometimes. All right, I'm trying to get serious here. Okay. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. No, I trace nothing but like fresh agave, that spring water, that um, the pepper on the back end is great. Um, and like you can tell that it's it's purely made. Um, it no ethanol, none of that. Like, you don't taste any additives. It's not like, you know, you taste a little sweetness, but that agave, it's an agave sweetness yeah. to it. Yeah. It's not the, it's not the syrupy, the syrupy sweetness. It's not the, 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 the pancake batter or the cake yeah. batter, they that say. Like, syrup. it's, it's just pure. It, like, honestly, it's like a mixture of agave and, and fresh volcanic spring water is what you're drinking. It's and with a slight pepper, slight, Sweetness from that agave, I'm telling you, this blanco is my shit, man. We we wanted a blanco that could stand up to a, a clear a clear añejo. That's what that's what we wanted, like our blanco to stand up to a to an extra añejo. So, um, for for it to to hit you like that is exactly what we we're going for. Because quite frankly, that's a, that's a, that's the white tequila I like to have. You know, the clear añejos. Yeah. So my blanco can hit that. I can't wait to I can't wait for you us all to try the Ayeho. But I'm glad I'm glad you liked it. I told you it's gonna be Hey, I like both the expressions. Yes. I like both the expressions. But to me that Blanco is that Blanco is is it's right there, like it's it's top for me. Like uh this will be an everyday sipper for me. Like you better not take the, you better not touch this shit and mix it with anything. I'm gonna slap your hands. I'm gonna tell you, don't touch my fucking tequila. <laughs> if you try to mix this with something, you better. Have you, my have you tried clean. it? Have you tried it chilled? I don't know. You uh, look. I mean, room temperature. You got for tequila much. drinkers. For tequila drinkers, they're experiencing yeah. me. Room temperature. Mm -hmm. No ice. No mixer. Yep. Sit. Straight. Straight. Hold on. Let me grab my glass. So what's the other one, you guys, are, is it a rep? It's a reposado. Cheers. Now, this shit is still good, but I'm, I'm telling you, the Blanco. She got wine. I don't have wine. See, oh, I, I seen the cup. Branded he got, red. Got the cup too. Look up. Show it to glasses. Him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't even see his cup. <laughs> so that what Tyler has. That's a red Libra glass. Stems, no, I thought it was this glass. glass. I, I have the red Libra stem sipping glass. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. <laughs> nah, it's I tequila. thought it was wine when you pulled it, it up. Anytime, even when I have wine, I got tequila in it. Especially with bubbles. I call it tequila seco. <laughs> hey. Tequila seco. Happy New Year, y'all. Yeah. So, AK. Happy New Year. So, you've already heard the crime, and this is the throwback to tequila in the story. Tequila in the story. If you don't know about me, I, I'm a party. I didn't. I didn't done a lot of fucking partying in my life. I got some crazy ass stories, right? I used to have a series called Tequila and a Story before I had to end it because IG didn't like the stories that was being told on there. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna bring me back for this one live only. So, okay. do you have a crazy New Year's Eve story that you can tell on IG? a lot. See, that's how Red Libre got started. Just on just tons of just free fun nights with friends. Like, 
it, I have a lot of stories. I have a lot of stories. So depending on where you, we want to go with this, um, I'll say last. It's where you want as go. good or bad as you want. I mean, oh, so last last um, New Year. Well, I'll start with this New Year. I'm gonna do it wholesome. I'll be with my friends and and or I might go to the gym. And then last year, I went to go see Usher in Vegas, which was really, really fun. Me and E went, and we have this thing like, Usher is our hall pass. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all. All right. So Usher went like right by us, and we both was like, ah, trying to like grab him and hug him, because we love Usher. We love Usher. Hey, Usher. Get you some <laughs> And then the Usher, the, the worst person for Ray Lee. Okay, the the best last worst year of Ray of not Ray Lee Ray I'm tripping of New Year's it ended in a brawl. Oh shit! It was a brawl. It was a brawl. In you gotta in tell street. that story. So, yep. You know how <laughs> you can't skip through that you, one. Don't y'all don't want it? Okay. Kenny, no, we got, we no, story, don't man. not tell it. But you gotta tell everything. Oh, All right. right. So I've got myself, E, my brother, and my sister in law, his wife. We went to one of my friends, New Year's Eve, a wholesome party at her house. I'm talking, it always starts out so good. It always starts out so good. But when you get on tequila that is not Ray Alipe, it, it, it turns shot. So then we're like, let's leave this wholesome party and let's go to, we went to East Atlanta where our restaurant's located. And, and as soon as we got there, my brother's driving in front of me. He pulls into a parking spot. The car next to him is, in, is the car next to him, right? The person in the back seat gets out of the car, but when he opens the door, it kind of bumps his door. But he's on that aggressive tequila. Ray Leroy's not aggressive tequila. And so my brother's like, <laughs> no, you, you hit bump, my door. Well, you, you hit my door. And they get to fighting. So I, behind them, I jump out the car. I'm running over to the fight. No, don't hit my brother. Right? <laughs> so hey, that's Ray Leroy. <laughs> Okay, you was in there throwing bows. I actually, I actually am a really good blocker. Like I, I got blocked where they like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, so you I'm defensive? Like, yeah, I, I'm defense. Okay, defense. That's me. So I you was, like a butterfly and like, like a bee. I jump in between. And I'm like, whoa, no, don't do that. Go. And they're fighting, and so then E thinks that I'm being fought, right? Because from a distance, it looks like someone's swinging on your life, <laughs> right? So here she comes. She jumps Oh, in. yeah, yeah. Most of it all, And it all came about from, uh, we literally pulled up. It, we didn't even get any more New Year's after that. We didn't get any more New Year's after that. We had to go home. He had an eye. My brother had, like, I had to um, glue my family members back together. And if you didn't know, super glue is the same as that um, surgical glue that they use and um, the doctors use to, to do stitches. So I had to glue my family back together because they decided to fight for nothing. Nothing. If you buck, I Happy nuck, New if you buck. <laughs> I'm blocking all these punt like oh, it's geez. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got the full out brawl. Oh, you know you could have you know oh, oh, made that situation worse, right? Parking lot of the old folks' home. Because it was the old folks' whoa, home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, it was the old folks' home that we was trying to um park in. Y'all got in front of y'all got in a fight in front of in, the old folks home. In front of the old folks home. A brawl in front of the old folks home. Sure did. Sure did. Kenny, I keep hearing people talk about hip hop and man. I can't wait till they get to Charlotte, bro. Everybody keep talking about them. I gotta try them guys out. 
but yeah, and Hopper, Hopper House is right down, is right around the corner, uh, right around the corner well, from our restaurant in yeah, East Atlanta. I Look, yeah, I'm in Charlotte. I, I hadn't had a chance to um to get down there and, tr and try them out in Atlanta. I just left Atlanta a couple months ago, but I didn't get a chance to go out and do a lot of stuff. It was my daughter's birthday, and that's where she wanted to go, was to Atlanta. So. Sounds like a, a road trip for me. Uh, yeah, so you got I mean, some vegan wings? We do have Atlanta vegan all the time. wings. Our vegan wings are called Bings. Wait, so, so wait, well, hold on. I just want to get this straight. So you have a restaurant, and you also have tequila. Correct. Okay, you're all right in my book. I, I mean, food, alcohol, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Wings and tequila go very they, well. They go together, they, especially they do. good tequila that does not burn like Ray Libre. And crap, the beer Ray goes together. Ray Blanco, man, I'm telling y'all, man. Look, man, I'm drinking on the Ray Libre Reposado. This shit is delicious as well. But I'm still going to say, that Blanco is my shit, so what, man. So what's the, the Reposado giving you? Yeah. So she beat me to it. So I mean you you're so I, I get that delicious blend of the citrus with the barrel age sweetness that comes out in reposados. Um it is gonna be more on the sweeter side of reposados if you like that. Um uh, you can still taste that that spring water. You can still taste that agave as a little bit more pepper because of that barrel age on there. Uh, it's still delicious. I'm yeah. still going to sip it clean. Uh, but if, yeah. if I have a, if I have something that I'm going to mix in a Paloma or I'm going to mix in like a margarita, I, I I would do the reposado. But this shit is still delicious. I can still drink this clean. So. If you want something that's an extremely versatile tequila that you can have, have like, so to me, speaking from a business standpoint, see, I didn't, I didn't put my business cap back on. I, I got my, my mindset. Back, I got to get right. you a Ray Libre hat then. I'm just sitting at the window. And, and what's your name, friend? For me? Quadruple B. For me? I know Wendell. Yes, you, Bobby. friend. Bobby. 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 Okay. Bobby, yeah. I got to get y'all some hats. Yeah, they need Or quadruple, 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 quadruple B. Quadruple B. <laughs> <laughs> or quadruple B as he's affectionately known on this show. Okay. Yep. You know. Uh, they don't like but, saying my my, my other name. <laughs> nah, we don't mind Bobby, but you know we when we become boys, we become family. We we can't just have you with the regular ass name. You know. Oh damn. Oh wow. Y'all not y'all not oh. out here calling me. Y'all not out here saying hey Tyler. Oh you no. Know, damn. Not, I'm not out here just saying, "Hey, hey, Wendell." I'm my mom, my hey, mama hey, be here tomorrow. You want me? To, you want me to send send her a message tonight? Let her know what you said. No, 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 that's your mama. Your mama different. My mama call me Tyler all the time. <laughs> I'm messing. Hey, but but seriously though, man, you gotta you gotta get me a list. Um, because tequila, I figure out, is one of those those liquors that don't get me fucked up the next month, mm -hmm. right? And I can drink all the, yeah, I can drink all the tequila happy. in the world. Like people keep asking me, "Hey, look, man, what's your favorite type of drink?" Like right now, it's Casamigos because I don't know no better, right? I'm new don't, to don't tequila, know right? I don't know no better. But Casamigos, I could drink a whole. I went to the mountains one day and drank a whole damn bottle of Reps Auto Casamigos and woke up the next morning at eight o'clock. Okay, so, so that's two things. Okay, once you get into so look. If you drink Casamigos, I'm not judging you. I don't want any beef with Casamigos. You know, I don't want any beef with Casamigos. I fuck with Casamigos when I'm at the club because it's cheaper. If I'm at bottle service, if I'm looking at a bottle of, of 1942, that's $900. I'm looking at a bottle of Casamigos, that's $450. i am going Casamigos all day. That, right? So Casamigos. That's some BS right there. I fuck with Casamigos. What? Right? What's exciting is when Ray Libre gets in the clubs and we can all, we can have it straight, we can have it on the rocks, or we can have it in a cocktail because that's the way we created the tequila to go. Right. And I'm so happy that you, you can, you're feeling and experiencing what it is that, that we're exactly. putting. You're picking up what we're putting down, Ty. Exactly. You're picking up exactly. what we're putting down. So, but this is what I look like. This is what it is, right? We had this this conversation personally. We did. 
So if you want to make money in this tequila world, you have to have a, a base tequila that can either be used as a, as a well tequila or as something that is a cheap option in a, in a, a cheap and popular option in the VIP, like in, in bottle service or just for, you know, regular everyday consumptions. You can have it to where it's good drinking clean or mixer or on the rocks. That's where, that's where you make your money, right? That, that is exactly where you make your money. But then what you also want to do is you want to cater to other, other markets as well. So you have a three-tier system. This is why Jose Cuervo sold 7.9 million bottles last year, and they doubled the number two competitor because they have a three-tier system. They have that tier that can be drank with any way possible. It's cheap. Anyone can buy it. Then they have the tier up to where you have people that have a little bit of money, don't want to drink the Jose Cuervo gold or the, or the white Jose Cuervo or the Jose Cuervo silver. You can go and get that with the Jose Cuervo traditional. You can mix in the cocktails. You can still have, and like it's good enough to be wells at, at different high end bars and shit, right. you know, right. and, and they're able to go through sales there. And then they have the Reserva de la Familia lineup, which is, which caters to the tequila aficionados because that shit is fucking delicious. And it's, I mean, I got a bottle right here. I mean, the artwork is absolutely amazing. It, it, it literally, the box has become an art piece. I can't even open this damn thing. Oh, oh, it's a trap door in the front. Okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I can't even fucking open it. I, how, how can I not? Okay, there it is. So this is a Reserva de la Familia. This is their high end. Now they have one that's they only have one that's higher end than this, right? But this is their high end tequila. And this right here is service to the aficionado community plus the collector community because there's like if you get like there's like three or four different boxes that they make each year of this. Each year is a different they do a different design on the on the XA box. And it all comes together as one type of art piece, mm -hmm. right? We lost Triple Bob. Again. Right. He, he, he's coming back in. Um, so they have that market for those, those high-end individuals that want to buy that stunner, like, showpiece bottle, you know, and, and uh, Jamal... I mean, I didn't been hit by baseballs in my face. My, Jamal. Times. Jamal. So, I mean, I got, I got enough brain cells. Bye, Rihanna. <laughs> hey, I'm not worried about brain cells being killed. But anyway, so they have a three-tier system. <laughs> they have a three-tier system in order to cater to all the different you know, levels of buyers. And that's why they sold 7.9 million bottles. That's why you see a lot of these other brands are selling so many bottles. Like, I think Swaze, Swaza, or Swaze, whatever they Swaza, call it. Swaza. 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 I know. Yeah, the one with the fucking the rooster on there. I like know. The cheap Swaza. ass shit. Yeah, that's number, like, that's in the top five of all time selling tequilas. And, and, I, and I respect the, the, the tier system yeah. and being yeah. able to, you know, appeal to wide ranges of audiences where you're the aficionado or you're just the you know the college kid is looking for the bottle that, that we can get as we put our money together in a pot whatever right I'm, everyone needs that uh, an elevated tequila experience for whatever it is that you're trying to do so with ray libre as we get to the states as we are out in the in the markets in the in the restaurants the bars as we're in the the liquor stores we can we can grow there. Step one is getting here, right? Step right, one is getting right. here, and because we already have a product, we we really really believe in. I will put it up against, you know, I put it up I put it up against some of my favorites. You know what I mean? And so that that's something I'm very proud to say. And step one is getting it here. That's why tomorrow I think even tomorrow is our double donation day yeah. on Kickstarter. So yeah. we have a Kickstarter that is working to get our bottles here. We're, we're our first batch of 6,000 bottles, our first premiere order, right? So we are going to get them here. 
We have a Kickstarter going for 10, 10K to get our bottles shipped here to our warehouse. And tomorrow is double donations day. So if you donate tomorrow, whatever it is, is going to be matched dollar for dollar to be able to get Raya Libre here to the States. And we're looking to launch and be in liquor stores, in bars, in restaurants, in clubs by the late spring. That's dope. That's dope. All right. You or E or Raya Libre official account, type in the Kickstart, uh, Kickstart sure. information on here. So I can pin it. I, I pin E's first comment about Ray Libre, but I want to pin. So write in what E just sent to, at Ray Libre, RayLibreTequila.com, and then the, and then where they can donate for the Kickstart, and I'll pin it on here. I said I'm only gonna go to nine o'clock, but but wife, I mean, I may go to the whole four hours. We'll see. You don't have to work. <laughs> the whole four hours. <laughs> hey, bro. He's can, can, so can, some, can somebody can oh, somebody send that to me as well? I I definitely donate tomorrow. And for those who are watching, if y'all don't understand that, like that's this is what we mean by supporting your people, right? right? So this is the yep. time we need to support our people. If we get fifty people to donate five hundred, I mean fifty people to donate a hundred dollars, that'd be it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not a lot. That's for for somebody right. to support somebody. That's not a lot. Yeah. So um, if, if you get the information sent in here, pent or sent to me, I definitely make sure I, I make a donation. Definitely. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. We um. No we there's a, there's a product we and we stand behind it. I really really I have faith in both of them. I I made a brand and a and a flavor profile that can stick that can sit by itself. It's a it's it's a neat sipper. It's a chill sipper, and you can mix it in a cocktail, and it still stands on it. It still holds its own. Like I was telling uh telling the family before, I really really appreciate the taste of tequila. So when I have a cocktail, I still want to taste tequila like yeah i want the, lime, exactly. I want the you know hibiscus and lavender yeah that's that's nice now but i still want to know that i'm drinking tequila and not one that's burning and, and making me feel upset so i'm i'm very proud of proud of our team so go ahead and make it a formulation and so next thing we gotta do is get it here to america so everyone can have some right me hey, 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 i'm telling you man i'm about to drink I may drink all this Blanco on this live tonight. Like, yeah, this yeah, I'm, my I'm shit. good with that. I have, I have Man, you sound like pie Tuesday night drinking all that damn lemon jello. <laughs> Bro, on Tuesday you know, night. So I still this is the turn up show. Tell my friend, I got, I got some, I got a couple more. Got a couple more of these vials of excellence. Yeah. I do need some of that lemon jello. I made, um, because after our first time talking, Wendell, I was like, Dang, that that must be the best way because I love tequila lemon drops. Yeah, I keep talking about it after they drink it lemon I, drops. I'm like, look, hey, I went, hey. I went to, I went after talking to you. I went to the liquor store and got some lemon cello. It, I couldn't find yours because you won't send it to me yet, but I'm sure it's on the way. It's fine. The, Y'all need um, to exchange packages. <laughs> Y'all need to exchange packages. We do. Let's do a package exchange. I was like, I know good and well. I, that it was delicious. It was delicious. So definitely, I can't. I cannot wait for everyone to taste it, and I can't wait to try that limoncello. Look, say. this is what y'all need to do. Y'all need to do a collab, and you can do a. You can do a limited release. You can do a limited release of a brick terrain beer hut, blanco, Ray libre, limoncello, tequila limoncello, tequila cello. It could. Be a premix, like you know, what I mean, the premixes that be on the shelves, and we could say it's a lemon drop made with the uh, premix lemon drop. Us girls, made us, with brick terrain beer. Us right? girls want, we want to have a, a lemon drop and put our pinky up. Hey, that sounds dope as hell, though. Make it happen. We gonna make it happen. Step one is what? Let's say it together. Get rarely break to America. Yes, get rarely break to America. <laughs> I just, I just want my logo somewhere on that bottle. It can be just in the down corner or whatever. It can be a little, little corner. I just want the little TLA logo, TLA agave leaf. On, oh, on the limoncello, on, on the limoncello. Yeah, just, just. They'll, they'll, stick, they'll, stick, they'll stick in a certain yeah. general um, message right. on the back. You can, you can just <laughs> put it like right down there in that little corner right there. Like, you can be on the back label and just be right down there. I had to cut that sticker for you, sir. I'm so proud of me. I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> it. 
You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Look at this, man. Ah, look at that. Look at that. This is nice. Hey, this box is dope, too. I read this. I read this out loud to my wife, man. This is a great thank you note. I, I appreciate this. I appreciate this thank you note. Y'all on AK, I'm pulling for y'all, man. You know, you know I got. Ooh, Look at this, man. What's that? It's not the merch box. Look at this. It's not the personal merch box. Bruh. It looks like the beach in there. Oh, they fancy. They fancy. Yeah. They fancy, fancy. It's, they a, fancy, it's, a, fancy. it's a liberated, a liberated experience brand. It came about because me and my wife like adventure. We like to travel. We like to explore. And so every time we went somewhere we couldn't find the tequila that we wanted you know what i mean we couldn't find the tequila that we wanted that could do it all we would have to get one tequila like well today i just feel like taking shots i'd have to get a different tequila today i feel like mixed cocktails i have to get a different different tequila. but that is inconvenient when you're traveling right, right. So I, wanted, I wanted one that could do it all and that's that's really how Ray libre came about yep but just like he just said, I'm pulling for you guys. I hope y'all y'all able to get y'all goal, get everything over here, and I hope you guys. Uh, I wish you guys as much success as you can get. All of it. All of it. All of it. And, well, and, and, and we down to the last drop. And we gonna have fun doing it in the process. Yeah, exactly. And make and That's the best make way to do new, it. Uh, new Year's Eve memories. Did I miss anybody else's New Year's crazy story? Oh, yeah. Mine is not Instagram appropriate. <laughs> Not this guy, this guy, he, bro, tell your story, man. Come nah, on, man, that's, be, that's before I was married, before I had kids, man. I don't need people in my life seeing the old me. <laughs> they see the old me all the time, they, man. You done, you done told the story. You done let the old you slip out. <laughs> that story when you slip out if I'm drunk. <laughs> all right, I got, I got another story for you. I got another, and I will, I will keep it Instagram appropriate. All right, so we were at a, uh, myself and a crew of us was at a bar called Sluggers here in, uh, here in Chicago. First off, I was in Danville uh, in like two days before New Year's Eve. I'm like, fuck it, man. I, I need to, I'm not staying here for fucking New Year's Eve. I'm about to go up to Chicago. So I hit up my boy. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? I'm coming up. He's like, all right, man, we're going, we're going to Sluggers. They got this. Say less. I'm up there, right? Go up there. I got drunk as fuck because it was all you can eat, all you can drink. By like 10 o'clock, I'm like drunk, drunk, right? I get all emotional. I'm calling my mama. I'm calling my, mama! I'm calling my brother. I'm calling my guy. <laughs> I'm I'm I, I'm I'm done, you know. I'm telling my boys, like, oh man, I love you, I love you, man. Right. <laughs> so we get up there. Somehow I'm hitting fucking balls in the in the batting cage upstairs and sluggers with tears running down my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, boom. Away. I don't know why I pointed to the sky, but what, you know. <laughs> why did you point to the sky? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not sober now. Like, come on, man. He drunk. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm something else, but I'm not drunk. We have fun. Well, I, I will tell this one story. No, that's this has to be. That's oh, go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So. So, oh, there's more. Sluggers there's is in Wrigleyville, more. right? And in Wrigleyville, they used, like, before they tore down all this stuff and they built them all this other shit, right? Hey. They used to have this McDonald's, this standalone McDonald's with this big ass parking lot, right? I'm not a small guy. I'm 6'5, 265, 270, muscle at, the, at, at in that age. You know, just a big ass muscle, right? big ass baby ass muscle, crying, saying, calling the mom and crying. <laughs> so <laughs> we go, we go and get McDonald's, right? And mistake number two. 
Yes, no. the same number two. Well, hold on, no. That's, they, it, they, do y'all, hold on, it depends. Do y'all have Waffle House up there? We don't have, have Waffle House. Oh. If we had Waffle House, I would have damn sure went to a Waffle House. Oh, Waffle okay. House. Like, Waffle House hit after you've been like, drinking. Like, if you didn't have Waffle House, then I, I understand know. why you made the decision. <laughs> but the, 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 the choice is Waffle House. Right. No, pass my cup. I wasn't on tequila. I was on Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels was a slice of heaven for me back then. That's the old number seven. Worse. That That's worse. Mm -hmm. I, had, I had nothing but Jack and Cokes nonstop. That's all I was drinking. So... I get McDonald's, I, I, I eat a quarter pounder and some fries, right? It was slippery as fuck out. Cold as hell. It was like two degrees out. I'm in just a fucking button-up shirt. So we're walking and everything, right? I'm sitting there talking. Zoop! Bah! <laughs> no. No snack for you. My big ass... My big ass slipped on the ice and busted all my shit. No. <laughs> oh. Hit my head and all this other shit, right? Damn. I get up. I'm like, right, I'm tough. Like, I played you know, play baseball. I played sports my whole life. I'm good. I'm good. You know, next thing you know, I'm fucking throwing up in the parking lot at McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, we know how you threw up. You had that quarter pounder. Yeah. That's yeah. why you threw up. How are you going to say it? You got to go to hand Waffle House and get you a, a, a Texas toast. Fritz and Fritz. in the bowl of Fritz. This, this is the thing. I blacked out after that. And we had parked like a mile away. So my big ass couldn't walk. So two of my homies had to carry my big ass. I'm I, they're like dragging me for a mile to the car. I went got the car and can't make a picture of your ass up. <laughs> but, yep. Hey, I'd have uh, fucked you up against the pole. Still, my boy. Like, I'll, still, I'll be right. Matter of fact, I, I would power walk for you. Just for you, I would power walk. <laughs> still, I'll be right back. I You're tell, my friend, I tell right. my friends right now, man, I'm the biggest one out of all my friends. If I ever get that drunk again, which I don't plan on ever doing again, uh, don't try to tell me. Y'all too old for that shit now. <laughs> my knees. Hey, oh, you don't try to tell me. Yeah, y'all too old for that shit now. Let, hey, look, I, I, I did that to myself. Let me deal with it. That's why when I get fucked up like that, I'm upstairs. Like, I got, I got. This Saturday when I left y'all, yeah, on here last Saturday, yeah, yeah. I wish my wife was here and let her tell the story. I got cursed out the next morning, bro. She was <laughs> like, "Dude, did you know you was walking around the house talking to your fucking self?" I was like, "I don't remember none of that. I don't yeah. remember none of that." <laughs> she was like, "She's like, I'm, I'm trying to have a conversation with you, like, no one me, and you talking to yourself." Walking around the house. He pull out the camera and record me so fast. We like let me let me show you you last night. Why did you why why you wanna hate? Why why <laughs> do you <laughs> wanna hate on my good time? Me too old, for that. but till I will say this though, man. I, I do all jokes. I do got to get back out to Chicago. I do got to get out there. You do. I'm coming to the you. Detroit. I'm coming to Detroit in June of next year. Detroit, like what, like a couple hours away? I'm not driving. I'm just letting you know I'm coming to Detroit. <laughs> you know what? Don't I might green. leave a couple of and, and fly. You know, I might do that. Hey, Harry. I might. Hi, Come Harry. to the house, man. I got, I got plenty of fucking liquor here. See, that's the problem. I don't need friends like you. <laughs> you no. no. So then, what do you, what do you drink? At quadruple V, he just trying to make another story. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, what are you drinking? Hey, I'm gonna be the star. I'm gonna be the star of that new story. Hey, okay, I I'll go drink and sip with him or whatever. But nah, you didn't hear what that cat just said. I got a lot of nah. I'm driving, dude, and I'm coming from Detroit to Chicago. Nah, you can't do me like that. I got a, but when we, but when we're house. there, we can Uber and we can get, we can drink. What is going on? I'm getting back. I'm getting back to the. I got a big house. 
I got a big house. I got an air mattress. I have plenty of couches here. And, and in June, in Chicago, is, is, it honestly feels amazing enough to go to sleep outside. An air mattress? I'd rather sleep on the floor, dude. That's fine. <laughs> I got a, a comfortable-ass house. That's been I got done. That's floor fine. For you. All I need is a rug, a rug and a blanket and a pillow. No, no, no. I got, I got one of the luxury air mattresses, bro. I, I ain't going to do you like that. I got an air mattress that I would sleep on. Like, it's, I, hear you. It's, I, I pay like 150 for this damn air mattress, bro. Like, you know, got one of them. Bougie, I got one of them. About that thick. But we good. <laughs> I, hey, look, I don't need you to blow that thing up. I need a floor, a pillow, and a blanket. I got plenty of those for you, bro. Y'all bougie. Because once I get drunk, I ain't going to really care about hey, nothing until this day. Asia, I am bougie. I, I don't look like it, but I am bougie. <laughs> You say, you sound bougie, my brother. <laughs> At least I'm admitting it. He's <laughs> a luxury man. What's that? What's that? Yeah, that was. What you trying to say? That was a statement, one. Oh, I can't. I can't hear what you said, Window. I said, "What you trying to say?" I'm saying. At least I'm you admit it. Fuck. He, exactly. a he a luxury man. That's why he's a man of luxury. I'm gonna say, "Go ahead and okay. put some pinky up." There you go. <laughs> like this. Hey, My red Libre tequila. For you, the food. Uh, uh, blueberry. Ooh, and then we... Yeah, them skins just popping. We examine the notes. When do I... I'm ready to open I, your I, bottom. I, I, I tell you, hey, notes of luxury. Bottom. Huh? Nuts. You said notes you can't, can't wait. No, nah, I said I'm ready to, but I can't open it by myself. Notes Why? Excellence. You close it back up. <laughs> nah, it's probably gonna be I drank. Little, <laughs> I'm not open it black up. Black excellence in there. Hey, this is what I'm about to do. They right said, now. okay, luxury air mattress. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah, man. I can't be having people coming over here. And, and you pour the blue sleep blueberry? I'm pouring the blueberry. I'm, 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 I'm going to bring their own air mattress. No, no. I'm going I'm to bring, I'm going to pour a little Ray Libre Reposado in this. This, this, this dude, this dude about to be out of the way tonight. That's that's beer Keela. <laughs> yeah, he he's drinking, he's drinking that twenty point four seven percent IPA right there. Yeah, his ass, yeah. ass about to be laying on that, on that luxury ab mattress he was just talking about. <laughs> Look, Shit, man, he don't need that. Ask about last week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, let's get it out of the way. All right, well, wow, wait, what did I miss? When no I think you missed something. We're talking, when no one says we're talking, right? I snuck over to my comfortable chairs over there, and, and we all knew it was trouble. Yes, yes. y'all called it from the start, y'all did call it from the start. See, but I wouldn't pop like I wouldn't pop like 30 milli. As well, as soon as I went over there, <laughs> I passed out for like two seconds. And I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm about to turn my camera off. They were talking for like 20 minutes. I was passed the fuck out. <laughs> I <was funny. laughs> I got an echo from him. <laughs> He's so tickled. So it is from him. The echo is from him. I think so. He's trying from to blame me? it on Yeah, you. I mean, it is what it is, bro. You know? So. <laughs> so. He said, hey, Triple B, you're going to hit that value button. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. Bro. Hey, Triple B, you're going to hit that value button. <laughs> I did it in my volume. You like bottle wines? Oh, me? Or her? Yeah. You. you. I, I love bottle wines. Me too. I'll be right back. You like what? <laughs> what the hell kind of shit is that? What do you say? He said, asked me that I like barley wines. I was like, I love barley wines. He's like, me too. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this, this cocktail that I just created, this shit is fire. You can make it I'm in the cocktail. You. You, you, you mix up some of this, that break terrain beer hut, walking them damn, walking them blueberries, TLA collab. 
mix up that Ray Libre Reposado in this, bruh. Yeah. Yeah, you better have your ass on that couch over there. Do you still have notes of tequila, agave, yummy? Can you yes, still you do. Taste tequila, does it hold its own? Yes, it does. Man. <laughs> Man. Hey, that's a I dangerous cocktail. So you didn't lie about that. What's that? Marcia has said we need a cigar too. I told her I do need a cigar. Right. Honestly, I almost did this outside because it is 53 degrees out here. So I could have been outside and enjoying a cigar too. Look so at. so I got to ask this question. So if the, IPA, if the IPA is 25, what the hell is the barley wine? No, the IPA is 20.4. Same thing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Once you get over 15, the shit tastes the same. This was only 22%. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so the only best bar that we've ever had over the last like couple of years came from barrel, uh, barrel culture. Not barrel culture, barrel souls out of Maine. But this is a barley wine bracket, so it's, a, okay. it's on its own thing. On its own tender. I got you. I got you. So you get the barley wine flavors, and then you you get this wave of honey going through. Because I, I did it on three different types of honey. So it's a, it's a barley meat. No, it's a bragging. <laughs> that's what I, I, I thought doing that's, that's horses. A, that's an inside joke. Scooby, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's like I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, no, nah, sir. OG said it do taste the same. But believe me, I'm used to it because <laughs> at Brown and Flow, they can't come to the tent. Where that meat at? I'm like, there's no meat here. Where that meat at? Yeah. So, like, so then after once, I was just like, whatever. Once you start adding a whole lot of honey to, to alcohol, a lot of people assume that it's meat. Yeah. Well, 60 pounds of it, I guess so. Yeah. I'm calling it what you tell me to call it. Like, I'm not I'm not going with the semantics. I'm, what, I'm, I'm what not the coming fuck up with the tape to figure out what. Don't care. Put it in my cup. Tell me what it is. Exactly. I'll tell you, whatever. My life is like, that's all I got. If you, if all you I tell got. me, right. If you tell me it's whiskey, then it's fucking whiskey. Like if you tell me it's barley wine, then it's fucking barley wine. I'm not going to go back and forth with you because guess what? I won't be you know, of this shit. You're a better, uh, better man than me. I'm going to go back and forth with your ass. No, nah, nah, fuck that. Because this is what I'm going to do. You gave me this much this time. I'm going to believe what you say, I'm going to be like, hey, man, this shit is delicious. Give me this much. Just tip it a little bit more, you know? Just a little bit more. Little yeah, more. ate the French oak tony pork. Say the last part again? French oak tony pork. That's what I aged it on. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Yo, man, this shit is delicious, man. What I, this Ray Libre repo, and it's walking on blueberries. It's fine. I gotta stop, man. It's, it's fine. Yeah. It's too, it's you should. The couch calling you over there. It's fine. Quadruple B. I'm not even getting started, man. I'm, I'm still. If I wanted to get serious, I can put the serious face on, and I'm good. You put the business hat on. <laughs> business hat on. <laughs> right. See, that's the one thing. That's one thing people don't understand. Is financial advisors used to get drunk as fuck. Like when we went to our conventions, you have no idea. Like, all right, the last we were in Baltimore for my last financial advisor convention, at the last company I worked at uh, before I I left the field. Right, we're in Baltimore, right? So we go through. We're going to these fucking different, you know, segments from different uh, mutual fund companies and everything, trying to tell us everything. And then, like, 4 o'clock was, like, dinner. And at dinner at 4 o'clock, open bar until, like, like 2 a.m. So from 4 p.m. to 2 a.m., there were, like, seven, eight different bars with, with, like, four different types of tequila, fucking five different types of bourbon or whiskey, any vodka you want. All the beer you want, you didn't have to pay shit. Tipping was discouraged 
because they were already getting a tip from the company. So, and then, like, if you were staying up past that, like, you went to the hotel bar, then you had one of the regional, uh, one of the regional managers of your area or whatever that they were fighting to put their business card down. So whenever you go up to the bar at the hotel that they talked into staying open till 3, 4 a.m., you, you just say, hey, I'm such, such with such, such company. You didn't have to pay shit. You understand, like, financial advisors, especially when you get to, like, high end, like, you get to these, these big ass companies. I don't, you, I don't like, think any you, group. You're drunk. You're like, it's, it's a fucking big ass party. <laughs> I don't think any group of people get drunker than teachers. <laughs> Financial advisors, I would say. I would say financial advisors. Would, I don't, financial advisors. I don't, I don't know. Coming, I so just a little background. I was I was a elementary school Spanish teacher for twelve years. I I came out last year, December seventeenth, and this is my first year not teaching. We got liquid debt messed up. Which is probably launched me into because when I first started drinking, I was a vodka girl. Right. But I think after after teaching, it it pushed me into teaching Spanish, of course, and teaching and taking kids on. I took kids to Mexico. I took it, taking kids to Nicaragua. Like after doing those, I was like, it's something about this tequila that just hit. But no, no I don't think anyone gets drunker than more than teachers. No, see, I have every right to. I, look, y'all do have every right to. One hundred percent, y'all do have every right to. Marcy said, "Doctor, because y'all kids is bad, nah, and y'all don't even know." My kid, not bad. We go up in a nice area, man. I like that one. Y'all kids, y'all kids bad. Y'all don't want to believe it, but guess what? Y'all kids bad. They're like, no, not my kids. My kids special. No, your to yours too. Yours is bad. Yours is yeah. sneaky bad. Yeah, I know. Yours is like I know, the one that I like that little. I know that little motherfucker sneaky bad. Yeah, they the one that pitched the other surprise. kid under the table or like whisper yep. in their ear, you're stupid, and then like pretend they didn't do nothing and raise their hand, and act all perfect. Y'all yep. kids is bad, and I we know. gotta drink a lot of fucking Rea Libre to deal with them. Okay. But we I, love. I would say, yeah, y'all pulled up around. Same time mine did. Hey, Ash, y'all want to meet Ash? Hey, hey, Ash. He want to go outside. He mad at me right now. Now, I would hey, say Ash. this, though. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to tell y'all a story. It's tequila in a story, old school, so I'm going to tell y'all a story. Professional athletes, athletes that are on, on like, uh, high-end summer teams, they get drunker than anybody in the world. Like, there's not even a question. Like, literally, not even a question. All right? And I'm going to tell you. Who? Say it again. So, professional athletes and okay. athletes that are at, like, like are big-time athletes or, like, at, like these, like, these summer league. Like, so, when you're a college athlete and you're a great college athlete, you're a great college baseball player, you get sent to these high-end fucking teams. Right for summer ball, because you're too young to get drafted, or you know you like that's where most of the scouts are going to be. So you go and play at these leagues, right? So they send you to these places, and these places have team owners that are fucking just rich as fuck, and it's just a tax write off for them to to sponsor this team. I'm gonna tell you about two different instances, right? So the first summer team I ever went to, it was in. The mullet capital of America, St. Joe, Missouri. Mullet. Mullet capital of America, St. Mm. Louis, Missouri. Okay. I think they like, literally. I think they won a war. They, I think they won like they either like got like the Guinness Book of World Records or like won an award for having the most mullets in America, like. Because they went and surveyed, and people readily volunteered that yes, I have a mullet. Count me. They were proud. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Just so, for clarity. <laughs> so the team owner owned Grizzly Tobacco. 
If you don't know about Grizzly Tobacco, it's a very cheap alternative to Skull or Kodak uh, tobacco, like the pouches, the chews, stuff like that. Yeah, uh, the, the, yeah, the dips. Yeah. So first off, this guy used to like he used to just drop off boxes of Grizzly Chew, dip, pouches in our locker room every day. Like I'm like literally boxes like. 15 of these boxes would be in our locker room every single day, every day, right? And then if we, if we, if it was our day off, like say if I pitched that day before and I pitched like four innings, five innings, and I knew I wasn't going to pitch that next day, I could send someone up to get a beer for me to drink in the dugout. Like literally we would, we call one of the marketing people. They would bring us a drink down. And we could drink in the dugout. And then after the games, after every single home game, out. we were 21. Well, shit, some of us weren't even 21. We were like between like, we were freshmen in college to seniors, well, to juniors in college. Mm -hmm. And after every game, after every home game, the team owner will look and see Whatever case he had left over, he didn't give a fuck. The guy had so much money, he didn't care. He would ask the team captains to say, hey, what house are y'all partying at this night? And then he would look and see what bottles of liquor were half empty. He would drop off all the kegs, and he would drop off all the half empty bottles to where we were partying at every single home game night. And that's what we drank. Every, so every home game that we had, we literally were drunk, either during literally. the game or after the game. I, I'd, be willing to, I'd be willing to bet you that every first period class that your child's teacher has, she's sobering up. <laughs> and the reason she has that coffee, that's why you keep having to buy her that Starbucks gift card every teacher appreciation day. Because she needs to sober up. I'm telling you. Telling you. We're, we're pitching the game still drunk. Yeah. We're playing baseball yeah. still drunk. Yeah, we're, we're hugging your kids still drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, teaching your stop reading and writing. Okay, go on. So, okay. That, that now, used to be my life. That's not my life anymore. Okay, now, okay. Let, right. let me tell you, Lee, but we're going to talk about the difference here, okay? My game started at 7 p.m. And I'm still drunk. I'm still drunk from the night before, pitching at 7 a.m., going to play at 7, a, uh, 7 p.m., sorry. 7 p.m. Oh, yeah, we were drunk. We, we were still drunk at 7 a.m., but that's because yes. we got off at, that's because we got off work at 3 p.m., and that's when we began. Right. So we had been drinking from 7, 3 p.m. So, until 1 a.m. We got about five hours of sleep, and so we're dragging in, and that's why right. we were crazy. So we, it's we started... It's, we got the freedom to do that. You know what I'm saying? See, but I, I gotta, I gotta let y'all understand this. I don't see me. I don't think y'all understand how much athletes drink. So I, I really gotta get y'all to understand this, right? We get to the field at 4 p.m. If I'm a pitcher and I know I'm not fucking, I know I'm not going to be pitching that day. I'm having my first beer and I'm still drunk from the night before, right? Not you. You can't be drunk from the night before if you've already had yes, the hair. Oh, so now you're fine. You're actually no, 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 no. I'm still drunk from the night before. <laughs> no, you're still in equilibrium. See, that's how you know. I'm telling you from experience. I'm telling you from experience. I'm still drunk, drunk from the I mean, night before. You're normal. I'm not normal. <laughs> well, that's because, you know what I mean? I haven't been normal. I have been a rookie back then. I haven't been normal since the first day I drove into town. Yeah, that, that might be because you might not be. You was a rookie back then. That's, and it's no. Okay. AK, I'm telling you, on my 21st birthday, I drank, I was able to drink a whole fifth of Absolute Vodka, uh, Captain Morgan shots, half a fifth of Hypnotic, uh, three, three, old, uh, three old wise men, beer, and all this other shit. And this thing called like two shots of liquid cocaine, which liquid cocaine is 
Rumbleman's, Goldschlager, and Jaeger. Well, thank God for deliverance. Now we we I mean we ain't gotta do that no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank God now. Right. You know I mean the new year's coming. Thank God for deliverance. We don't gotta live like that no right. more. Right. Right. I'm just trying to how we I'm can enjoy to, our spirits. Yeah, I'm just trying to get y'all to understand how drunk athletes work. I had one teammate that literally got kicked off the team because this dude was so drunk that this was like a he lived, so his host family lived in like a 700K million dollar house, right? This motherfucker drove his car up into the bush and almost drove through the front room of their house. He gets out of his car. This motherfucker falls asleep in their front yard with an empty handle of Captain Morgan in his hand and an empty beer pitcher in this hand. And it's passed out on the front lawn. And he got found by one of our other teammates. That's not like a good night. He made it home, okay? Right. He made it home. Not not everyone can say that. Like, he made it home. I don't understand why you're judging him, man. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Wendell. I Tyler, think he did a good job. Wendell Tyler, AK, um, I got a call of the night at 18, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here. It was a pleasure meeting you. AK, um, I wish you and Ray Lee Ray the best. I hope everything works out in you guys' favor and that you guys get over to the United States and that you guys make millions and millions of dollars a year. Multi-millions. I can't wait for you to try it. Right. I can't either. Um, so, I'm going to sign off here. You guys enjoy and be blessed. Thanks, BB. Quadruple B. Appreciate you, man. Yep. Anytime. Appreciate you, man. Anytime. All right, so... Who wants to join? He, Who wants to join? He didn't want to. He didn't want to take a nap on the live. He was stressed <laughs> out. Just close, just close was. your eyes and go to sleep. Hold on, is E, e around to join? E? Yeah. Babe. I'm, Can you get on live? No, I'm a. E needs a. E needs an update too. What's up with y'all with not updating IG? Man, listen. <laughs> I think that is very, very intrusive <laughs> for you, um, IG. That's rude. Like, I shouldn't have to keep doing all this. IG be putting your business out there, too. It's really you know what <laughs> You better get that automatic update. I got to keep updating everything for it to work. I haven't updated yet, so I guess well, it does it on its own. Why does yours keep working? Because it probably does it itself. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, because <laughs> you automatic. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know. She can't. She can't come in because she can join. She, you can walk in over here if you want to. Put. Hey, I'm just sending out random invites. Hey, oh, Marcy is joined. Hey. What up, Marcy? What's up? A migraine. Oh, get rid of it. So you're not drinking? No, I already drank. That's probably why I got the dang migraine. Drink some more. You get over. Oh, it. oh. hello. Hi. What up, E? What's up, E? What's up? Right. We, we in here. Thank you, thank you for thank you for enjoying our tequila. Yeah. Hey, I'm a, I, as I told, knew you would. Yeah. I'm start by I saying I knew you would. Yeah, as I said from the start, I'm gonna be honest. Give me a day. I'm gonna tell you here. where I feel like it fits, and I'm gonna tell you which expression that I think is the best. Uh, Doesn't to matter. Me, I yeah, to me, the Blanco is the Blanco is damn fucking delicious. Yeah, that's my yeah. favorite as well. Yeah, like that's my shit. You know, the the Reposado is is definitely good. That's my uh, favorite. The but, Blanco is the best. That's me drunk. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. I like it already. <laughs> it's my well, favorite. It's, whatever gets me drunk. No, um, so so like. This one, so Toronto tequila, I love their Blanco. Their Blanco, I, I try to drink it every day. I try to keep a bottle of it on my bar every day. And once this comes out, this is going to kick. Like, this is going to yeah. kick Toronto. Like, once this comes to Chicago, it's going to kick Toronto from my everyday drinker. Thank you. That's like one shot. We, we, we're working on it. We're working on it. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. You got to get it out of Mexico. 
gotta get it out of Mexico. Mexico. Well, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of Don Julio '70. So that's what I, we wanted to kind of emulate it after, kind of give it that same taste, but give it to you in just a blanco, where you don't have to, you know, get the clear on yet. You can just Hold on. have some, some, some that, Yeah, it's it's. I love it. It's so good. I just can't wait. Nice. Can't nice, wait. Nice. So excited. So, so you're DJ E. So yes, I DJ for like 24 years. Right. Right. So I gotta ask, okay. what's what's like that? Is it hip hop? Is it like like Ti or is it like soul? Is it like house it's, music? It's like, what, she like, can spin anything. Yeah, she can mix. I, I, that's a, I'm sorry. Never mind. <laughs> I literally, I could, I could go all day about this one right here. That's literally how we, how this happened. But uh, that's great. All right. So, what is? Your, are you asking me what I spin or what I what, did? Spin? What I'm asking you is, what is like that main genre of music that you love? I, I understand you love to spin everything. Uh, what up, Intervision? Uh, I'm, I'm like all DJs love music in general. Every Most. DJ I met. Just love music in general. Like y'all can come up with some shit that like no one has ever heard of. That's from like uh, like from a hundred years ago, and you come up with like the most like inconspicuous record that no one has ever heard of from this artist from a hundred years ago. So I understand y'all y'all are deep dive like y'all deep dive in the world of music, but you also have, have like a certain like a certain type of club. A certain type of genre of music that you really is kind of like your niche. So, I, so honestly, I haven't because once we started the restaurant, I retired. So I re, I haven't DJed in probably almost six and a half years, mm -hmm. um, because the restaurant keeps me too busy. But as a prominent DJ, I was one of the top female DJs in in the southeast and in the country. To be honest, All right. Here's to um. That. Yeah. At the time when I was DJing, because there, there were very few D, uh, female DJs back then, mm -hmm. so um, I kind of came up in the '90s and early 2000s, and that's that's uh, my when my prominence was. Um, so for me, hip hop is always going to be, you know, that that's my heart because that's that's what I know, that's what I was raised off of. But with hip hop, you know, my my mom, she was my first musical. Uh, teacher and in her own way she was a DJ because she would throw parties at her house you know and she would just put music she just constantly put music on you know different music on so she's not necessarily mixing but from parties so she was my first uh, introduction to DJing and she listened to everything my mom listened to um, house gospel rock 